Hamilton has uh, managed to get the run on Verstappen. Now, Max defends the inside here. There's nowhere for, uh, for Lewis to go, so he has to switch to the outside. He does so. And then we pause it here. He's quite a long way ahead coming into the corner. Max still has maybe a front wing in on the inside, but it's, uh, it's really, really Hamilton's move to be done here. He's got himself in a great position on the racing line with the help of the DRS. He's had a, a very good run through the first few corners. But Verstappen, he, he might as well chance something here. So he throws the car up the inside and uh, is marginally ahead at the apex, gets himself into a decent position, but he cannot make the corner and uh, it goes straight on and, uh, and out wide, retaining the lead. But he's got a long way off track to, uh, to do this. So if we see it from this angle, that is as far as, as Max Verstappen had to go off track here. So he's gone in super, super hot. It's a last ditch attempt to, to try and keep Lewis Hamilton behind and it's worked. But in doing so, not only has he forced Hamilton off track, but he's miles off track himself. So the incident was noted for the stewards. And Lewis, that incident is under investigation. Yeah, it's crazy. Go ahead. Michael, that is all about let them race. That's all about let them race. Uh, so Lewis, apparently no investigation necessary for running you off track. Of course, man, of course. The stewards deem this one acceptable, which really surprises me, I have to say. Um, I think we've seen so many uh, incidents this year where drivers are forcing another driver off the road. And there's been penalty for Lando Norris in, um, in Austria. Michael Massey was talking about it again with the Alonso Raikkonen moment in Austin, where he, he recognised that Alonso had forced Raikkonen off track, which then permitted Raikkonen to overtake him off the track. Um, but this one is different to all of them. In those cases, in, in pretty much every case we've had this year, the car that has then uh, has done the forcing off the track has ended up out here, and the car that's off the track has ended up out here. And it's a marginal call, and, you, and here you're thinking, who has the corner? Who was ahead at the apex? Was the driver on the outside a bit ambitious? Or, uh, or was he forced off? Should he have backed off earlier? And you're into these sort of gray areas of, generally actually this year they've not been given, but occasionally have also in the case of Norris and Perez, but that was into the gravel. Here, clearly, we're in a completely different scenario. Not only has Verstappen forced Hamilton wide, but look how wide he is himself. He is nowhere near making the corner. You can probably get three or four Red Bulls in the space of Verstappen here and the track. He's gone in so deep, and I think that changes the situation for me. The fact that Verstappen has gone in so hot, Hamilton hasn't had the chance to stay on the track, and, uh, and, and Verstappen has kept the place, which he was looking like he would lose before the braking zone, by going this far off. Seems to me this is a, a fairly slam dunk, forcing another driver off the track. We'll have a look at the onboards and we can see um, in a little bit more detail what's going on here then. So Hamilton up behind Max Verstappen with the DRS, sweeps to the outside and now he's ahead. And he's getting further ahead, hits the brakes, and uh, eventually we're going to see there's Max on the left-hand side. Now Lewis is turning in here, but he cannot turn in anymore. So he's trying to make the corner. And then again here, look how close they are to touching. Hamilton's left front into the bargeboard area of, uh, of Verstappen's Red Bull. And he has to bail out of this because Verstappen is steaming in on the inside. And, uh, and Lewis has to check, check the steering and avoids the collision and is duly forced out of track. If we look at Verstappen's on board, which the stewards didn't have at the time, we can see what it looked like from the outside shot a lot more clearly. You can see already his head turning straight right, looking into the right-hand mirror. As you would do, he's fighting for the lead and it's his title rival. So Verstappen driving a lot in the mirrors here and he's just looking the whole way down. He's covered off the inside. This bit's great. But then when we get to the corner, there we go. Hamilton is, is a long way ahead. Now, the only thing left for Max here is to throw the car on the inside and try and make it stick. And I think that's the right thing to do in this situation because he's got nothing to lose. This is his championship rival trying to pass him around the outside. You're not going to make this move easy. So Max does the, the only thing really left to do and go down the inside. But does he make a big attempt to make the corner? Look at that steering angle. Turning in. And that's as much as he turns in all the way to the outside of the circuit. Now he's going on more when he knows he's going to go off, but he doesn't turn into the corner, ushering Hamilton to the outside of the track and off the road. So this one 
if it was already, for me, a, a penalty for Verstappen, I think this angle makes it even more obvious because you can just clearly see that Max, he's either at this point gone in too hot, so he's worried about turning the car more to stay on the track, but actually destabilise the car and maybe have a spin. Um, or he's just thinking, just force the, the, the other driver off the road. Now he's gone in so deep, possibly he's not turning in because if he does commit at this point to an armful of steering lock, he's gone in so hot from the dirtiest side of the track that he's just gonna spin the car and maybe be out of the race. So he's having to balance it. But I have to say, there's not a lot of steering correction going on for Verstappen. So I don't think he's absolutely on the limit of steering lock, but more he's forcing Hamilton off the road and, uh, and off he goes himself by a long way, keeps the place. And for the lead of the race, between two title rivals, this one, it could have been absolutely huge had Hamilton not made it through on the track. I think the stewards, it's a really, really tough job being a steward because not only was the race outcome, depending on it, everyone watching on the, uh, on the TV, watching this amazing title battle, you don't want to see it decided by a stewarding decision. So they've got a tough job. Well, that was my thoughts on the controversial moment between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And there's a little bit more of it on F1 TV as well, including data from the, uh, from the incident itself. But it didn't end up deciding the race. There's plenty more on F1 TV to look at the eventual move that Hamilton made on Verstappen, plus more incident further back. Check it out on F1 TV.